Hi, I'm James Gladstone, work on the Perseverance 2. I have uh, been in the fish industry for 14 years now, and uh, it's my life, my life at sea. Uh, I've worked at sea for 14 years with the same person, uh, built our sort of business up from the start. Started in small boats, now we're in a big boat. Uh, we go out to sea daily, catching crabs and lobsters. Uh, it's a great job, most of the time. I uh, started fishing when I was uh, 19. A uh, friend asked me to come on the boat with them, got my tickets, went to sea, started off and then the uh, owner of the boat at the time sold to my current boss. Uh, we worked together, just me and him, uh, kept working, got a bigger boat, kept working harder, more pots and got an even bigger boat. That's where we are now. Now I'm the uh, relief skipper at Perseverance 2. Worked my way from nothing, there's no fishing in my family. Uh, I was the first generation and it's great never think of doing anything else. Uh, fishing is an industry that's been going on for hundreds of years. It's very important that we keep it going. There's not a lot of young people coming through now and I don't know why. I think it must be just a bad reputation. It's good money. We should uh, keep it going. The harbour is a lovely place and we need fishing to carry it on. Brilliant as a town is a lovely town. It just needs this harbour. It needs the sea. It's the greatest bit about the town. Try if you, if you go on a boat, you don't have to stick to that boat if you don't like it. There's other boats. Each boat has different ways of working, different crews. They're totally different. I mean, I've worked with the same guy for 14 years now. He's like my brother. He really is. It's like family away from family. Uh, but I can imagine I wouldn't get along with some of the other boats. So don't just give up if you don't like the first boat you go on. Try a different boat. Give it a chance just work hard. Uh, but having a family, I've, I mean, I've got three kids and a wife at home. You get, people think you're away all the time, but you don't, you get so much time off in this job. We only work maybe 200 days of the year at a push. So you get paid very well for a, a labor job, if you like, get paid very well, but you get so much time off. It's sort of six months of the year work. If you're hard working, the opportunities are there to work your way up in this job. I mean, you go as a decky learner on half share most of the time. If you're good, you might go three quarters share straight away. And tiny percentages in this uh, in this job make a big difference with the amount you catch. Uh, so if you go up a percent at a time sort of thing in your wages, it makes a massive difference. And the opportunities are endless. You could get your own boat, sort of half a million pound a year profit sort of thing. If you want to go for that, if you want the life at sea, I mean, there is massive opportunity here in this harbour, with this port, the catch out there is great. If, uh, if you've got the get up and go about you, it's the way to go. Yeah, I think the Get Alive campaign is uh, really positive for the industry. There's no young people coming straight from school into the fishery anymore. It's uh, sort of, if you're not born into it, there's not many uh, first generation fishermen about. And uh, there definitely needs to be some sort of recruitment to get more people here. It's, I mean, it's a fantastic life if you want this sort of life. It's, it's the sort of job you can be proud in. Uh, proud in yourself for working so hard. Uh, proud of your crewmates even. Proud of you. I mean, you are a family away from home. And it's, uh, it's a great thing that Get Life at Sea is doing. Uh, it needs to be done. I suppose... Life at sea is a hard life, but it's a rewarding life. It's in those summer months when you're working all hours of the day sort of thing, uh, you don't want to get up for sea, you don't. You don't, you don't want to set your alarm for two o'clock in the morning and go to sea. But when you're there, when it's like this, and you're working in a t-shirt, you're outside, having fun, having a laugh with your friends and your workmates, it's, you forget, <laughs> you forget about waking up at two o'clock in the morning. You, uh, you're having fun and getting paid for it. And then you look at your catch on the way in and you work out how much you've earned for that day. And it could be, could be some days as much as four and 500 pounds for a day. And that's when you sit down and you're tired, you're aching all over, but you don't care. And it's, it's the best feeling in the world. It's, well, it's, it's it's a fantastic life, it's great. Get a life at sea.